If you are thinking about joining the life insurance arena, we're going to give you guys seven reasons why you want to join this industry today. And at the end, we're going to share our stories about why we joined the industry. My name is Mike. My name is Jalen. Now, before we even get started, quick fact for you guys. The financial services industry has created, Jalen, the most amount of millionaires out of any industry on the map. Mm. Did you know that, Jalen? I did not know that. Dollar, dollar bill, y'all. There it is. So <laughs> here's seven reasons why to join the industry. Number one, freedom. Freedom. Now, quick story, guys. It happened to me last week. My father hit me up. He said, hey, I want to start working out with you. I said, cool, Dad. Let's do it. He hit me up to work out with him at 7 p.m. Now, most jobs are off at 7 o'clock, but I had the ability to work a full day and had the time, freedom to work out with my father. Mm. And then we worked we work out the next day on a Friday at 12 p.m. noon. Wow. The flexibility that I have now to do, hey, Dad, you want to work out? We can do that. Mm. The, I had the flexibility to do and work at my own pace. Yeah, I love that. You know, the, the biggest thing that I love about the, the financial freedom that comes with this business is that I'm able to do whatever I want to do at yeah. any time, right. right? Like a lot of people's goals is to make a lot of money, but I want you guys to shift your mindset into, mm. okay, what can the money actually do for me? Mm. You know, money is a tool. It's a resource to help you yeah. get more time, get more freedom, yeah. right? It's not the opposite. So you have to focus in on, what do you want the money to do for you? And what do you want the money to be able to create with that? Yeah. And if you can like take that, ugh, <laughs> you're going to be yeah. loving it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Now I love that. So number two, we get to help people. I think it's a really, really underestimated, I guess, benefit of becoming an insurance agent is that we get to actually yeah. help people on a day-to-day -day basis. I know you're talking to me earlier about a, a, a client, client death claim. You want to hop into that real quick? Yeah, I had a client, um, husband and wife, mm -hmm. uh, took her through a life insurance policy back in March. Wow. This year? This year. 2023. Uh, this year. And, you know, the client called me. She said, he said, Jalen, my wife passed away three months after she signed the, the dotted line for life insurance. Now, keep in mind that life insurance policy paid out mm. three months after making only three premium payments. Fourteen thousand dollars to take care of his wow. burial expenses. Man. He's probably He's excited. Beautiful. Yeah. yeah. Super, super excited. Like, like, the, we, like, yeah, we probably hear the insurance industry you make a lot of money, but honestly, there's been so many times I've helped the client out with life insurance or health insurance. Yeah. And at the end, they're literally hugging me and saying, "Michael, thank you so much." <laughs> They're probably trying to feel my muscles, <laughs> the, the, the grandmas. <laughs> Thank you so much for helping me out today. I'm so excited. These people are, are asking, hey, like, come see me. I need life insurance. And we're then going to go see them or talk to them over the phone. And like at the end of the conversation, it's like having like another person, a part of your family. And it's so beautiful. Now, listen, the third reason is for compensation. You see a lot of us love talking about that money that dollar dollar bill y'all right and, and i want you guys to understand we just talked about helping people you see in any industry you get paid in direct correlation mm. to the value that you bring to your given marketplace mm. so guess what in this business you are actually able to get paid based on how much value yeah. you can bring That's beautiful so when agents come to us and say hey jalen hey mike i'm not making a lot of money in this business i ask them a question well how much value have you added this week? Mm -hmm. <laughs> right? The more value you can add, the more money you make. It's real simple. You got anything you want to say on that? Man, the, yeah, the compensation. I mean, it, like I said, it's created the most amount of millionaires out of any industry for a reason. I mean, it's 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 good money. Like yeah. it's it's extraordinary money. I mean, it's like when we were both, you know, graduating from college, we joined the industry. And I mean, there were certain days where we were receiving those ACH deposits. I'm like, man, did someone <laughs> hack my account? Like, like what's going what's on? Happening? Like, what's happening? Like, yeah. you know, this, you know, multiple four figure, five figure days. I mean, it's, this business is amazing, guys. It, it's beautiful. Like, I, I remember, you know, when I first started the life insurance industry, yeah. I was making less than $600 every two weeks. That's yeah. $1,200 a month, y'all. Yeah. Now, yeah. It's like an hour. Like, now it's kind of crazy because yeah. my goal is 
three thousand dollars a day. Yeah, and it's just yeah. so beautiful because you when you see that happening mm -hmm. over and over and over yeah. and over your belief again your belief starts to increase and then you're like okay cool i'm doing three thousand dollars a day can i do ten thousand a day yeah right the more experience you have the more value you add to this the marketplace. Folks doing it. that's for people doing it the more people you serve the more people you help the more money you make in this business very very simple Love formula. It. so number four recession proof recession proof i mean this business like i said guys it's funny because not really funny but it's interesting because we're not selling like knives no no offense you guys sell knives we're not selling like uh water bottles we're selling something that people need like people want it yeah like people need to have life insurance like it's not like something that oh yeah i'm gonna go through life and not like people actually want to get this product so yeah. there's not much of a sale to it i really don't want to call it selling it's called it's more just like you're just give them, people. Get, yeah, give them options that they want. Yeah. And it's beautiful, too, because, you know, when it comes to this industry, um, the way I like to weigh out any other industry is, OK, um, which industry will always be here no matter how the market mm -hmm. turns out? Yeah. Right. Like if the world goes to crisis, what industries are still going to be here? You got real estate, you have life insurance. Right right those are the two predominant industries where it's always going to be here nice. banks use life insurance yeah. right uh hospitals use life insurance for stuff yeah. like everybody needs life insurance and here's the beautiful thing about this right at some point in time we are all going to die yeah literally. <laughs> like we're all going to die yeah. at some point in time so if i know that why would i not want to offer somebody a product that they are going to use someday mm. Right. So for me, I know no matter how the industry turns out, this business will always be here. And it's scalable. And it's scalable. It's a scalable yeah, yeah. model. You can come in as an agent, but really become as a business owner and scale it mm -hmm. into a six, seven, eight, nine, ten figure business. agency it's business. Crazy. It's a scalable model. Yeah. So the next point is going to be that you're developing a skill. <laughs> Like I love stories, so I'll say this story right here. Like, like I, I Jalen, you know, you don't know the story, but like I go to restaurants nowadays, and I went to one last week, and they said, "Hey, we're closed." I said, "Okay, I understand. Let me talk to the chef." <laughs> <laughs> I talked to the chef. He said, "Hey, sit down. I'll serve you." Like, like I sometimes don't take no as an answer anymore. This man loves negotiating. <laughs> like I, I negotiate now. <laughs> I develop a skill to not take no for an answer yeah. anymore. So I negotiate. Like. Like the skill I learned from doing sales in the industry of insurance is so is so key. Like I can talk to um, business owners, yeah, anybody, um, anybody, yeah, and hold a conversation with them because I've done it hundreds of thousands of times. Yeah. So like it built that confidence for you because I remember for me personally and you, uh, communicating with people wasn't yeah. always our strongest suits. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. But when we got into the life insurance arena, you couldn't tell me. Jalen, sit in front of a camera and talk to somebody yeah. that is not even there, mm -hmm. right? Go out and meet with people and talk mm -hmm. to people about a product. Mm -hmm. Like, I didn't want to do that. Right. So it helped me develop the skills of communicating, and it helped also build my confidence, too. Yeah, I right? like that. So the next one we want to talk about is building relationships, mm -hmm. right? You see, in any in industry, your net worth is going to be dependent off of your network. Mm. OK, I'm going to say that again. Your net worth is going to be dependent off of your net worth. The more relationships you build, the more relationships you refine, the more money you also make. Mm -hmm. The more shoulders you tap into, yeah. the more money you make. Yeah. So for us, yeah. we've been able to grow yeah. at a fast pace because we've been able to lock arms with people who have the same vision, who have the same Incredible mission people. as us. And it's a beautiful thing. Yeah, some incredible individuals. That, you, you hit that pretty much on the nail, man. That's good. So the last one, my favorite one, guys. My favorite, favorite one is travel. You can travel and work from anywhere. I was just telling Jalen, man, I want to go to Orlando, Florida next week just to, uh, just to work. I, we live here in Columbus, Ohio, but, like, I can go to Florida next week mm -hmm. and get an Airbnb, get a flight, get a rental car. I mean, spend, like, a 1000 or $2,000 doing that. 
Yeah. I can make all that money back in one day doing insurance sales. <laughs> and for the rest of the week, it's all profit. Crazy. I can hang out there and enjoy the palm trees. Crazy. You go to you go on a vacation anywhere. We was in Aruba. Yeah, literally. We was in Aruba. We didn't work for like that whole month, for like two whole weeks. And we were still receiving deposits. Yeah. Like Mike woke up, seen his bank account. He's like, oh, snap. <laughs> I'm still making money. <laughs> This exactly. business gives you that luxury to do so. You can travel, take all your family, your friends yeah. on vacation, and you can make all your money back in the same day. Yeah. And here's the beautiful thing. You can write it all off on your taxes. Damn. There you go. <laughs> there you go. There you go. Such a beautiful industry. Listen, if you guys are thinking about an opportunity or thinking about a switch in careers, I promise you, you do not want to sleep on the life insurance arena. The financial services arena, again, will be able to help you create the life that you truly, truly desire all off of your own time, energy, and efforts. If you're somebody who has those three attributes, we're looking to partner up with you. Yeah. We want to help you get to the next level, yeah. not only in your business, but also in life. We want to lock arms with you. We want to bring you into our network and show you how we can help you create the life that you truly desire. Make sure you guys click the link in our bio or below, subscribe to this YouTube channel, share it out with a friend, and when you do so, see you at the top.